Hi everybody, it's Debbie and it's been a long time. So things have been crazy for us as well as uh, everybody else in the world. But um, I have been crafting. I just haven't been making videos or I should say I have made a few videos but I've been having problems getting them uh, edited or Anyway, I'm trying to do this and I hopefully won't have to do any editing. Anyway, last night, Tuesday night, Lori Fusco, Girl on the Ridge, and Maggie White, they have a live every Tuesday, uh, Craft Along With Me. And last night was making an altered um, file folder. So I craft, did some crafting along with Lori and Maggie. I didn't finish it during the craft along, but I did finish it last night. So it was absolutely hilarious last night. We had so much fun. Um, I don't remember laughing that much. And Maggie's laugh just kept me laughing even more. She was addicting listening to her laugh. So it was it was a lot of fun. Anyway, um, this is what we made last night. So. I have a closure for seam binding, and I believe this is avocado dyed. So the first flip page, uh, there's a altered paper clip here. I used alcohol ink to give the paper clip a uh, rusted patina, and it's just holding down this flip here. Now these papers that I'm using, I don't know where they're from or what the pad is called. It is a paper pad uh, and that just is a tag that this is holding on the back. But I don't remember what they're called. A friend of mine gave them to me, some of them, not the whole pad, some of the pad to me last year and I just thought it was really pretty so I thought I'd use it up in this. And I made a bunch of clusters a little while ago and there's a few people that have been doing these lately. Um, Artie Mays, um, Tracy from Foxy Creations, Love Junk Journals. Anyway, um, that idea is where I got that. So this one is just a decoration. It, it's not a tuck or anything. This side, this one is a tuck and it's got a couple tags that I made from the paper pads. And this side, there's lace here, and then down both sides. This is just so that I could clip this somewhere. And this is an idea from my porch prints. Well, it's her papers. And she, she does have, with this line of paper she, and the wording, she does have instructions on how to make these. But they're just basically another cluster that you can hang. And there's another cluster here. I love using quotes and words. And so these um, tags here, that flips out like that, and this one flips out like this. And here's another cluster, and this has Tim Holtz uh, transparent wings in there. So they just close up like that. And then this opens, and this is a junk mail envelope with the window and I just covered it with some of the papers and here these two flowers are from Tim Holtz ideology die cuts I can't remember what they're called but it's all botanical die cuts and in here I used some paper to line the envelope and this is just some journaling paper and then it flips down and there's a ruffle lace here. Some more paper, punched out flowers and put some rhinestones there. And here there's a little tuck spot with some tags that were part of the paper pad. And a hinge was made as per Lori so that the envelope flips twice and this top part holds, uh, the top pocket holds just some papers for journaling. And then this 
<coughs> excuse me. This cluster here, I'm really sorry. I can't remember who I saw originally do this, but there are little mini envelopes that I made and they do have tags. Well, two of them do. This one doesn't open. And this one's like a coin envelope with a mini tag in it. And then there's a couple tags in behind. So that flips back up. And then in the middle, this flips open like that. There's a bit of lace there. And then this pocket, there's a couple tags and some more journaling paper in that tuck spot there. So I suppose you could do it either way, but I'm not gonna tie it because I have to show you the back and the back using part of the file folder, we made a flip and I covered it with more of the papers on the front and the back. And this cluster here is securing the um, seam binding down. And then this flips up. There's a doily that flips up there. A tuck spot with a few tags. There's a little postcard in that cute. And then this part here is just some coffee dyed papers that I tore and sewed to make a, a journaling pad. And just a piece of the paper. So that is it. And this was a lot of fun to make. I hope to make more. I do have a lot of file folders. And I did coffee dye the file folders before I used them. So, thank you, Lori and Maggie. That was a lot of fun to make this. And I had an absolute blast last night at the live and I look forward to next week and I think they said next week we're going to start making a doily book. I made a fabric book quite a few years ago for Amanda's birthday. That's the last time I've made one so it might be interesting. Have a great day everybody. Talk to you later. Bye.